Hello, I'm Rupert Sheldrake. In February 1873, Charles Darwin published a very interesting letter in the scientific journal Nature, entitled Inherited Instinct. He was writing about a dog called Kepler that belonged to someone called Dr. Huggins, and Kepler had a remarkable aversion to butcher shops. Kepler was an English mastiff, a pedigree dog, and every time he passed a butcher's shop, he became extremely agitated. It turned out that Kepler's father and grandfather, um, and also some of Kepler's brothers, um, had a similar aversion to butcher's shops. No one knew where this had come from. It may well have come from Kepler's great-grandfather, but it was clear that it was an inherited instinct or behavior pattern. And Darwin speculated that uh, this had happened because the grandfather had been mistreated by a butcher, but he admitted no one could prove that or know for sure. But the point he was making was that a very peculiar form of behavior that could have been acquired as a result of a trauma was passed down through the generations. This aspect of Darwin's work, his interest in uh, the inheritance of acquired characters, was a taboo topic in most of 20th century biology. But since the year 2000, um, the subject of inheritance of acquired characteristics, rebranded epigenetic inheritance, is now mainstream. What I'm trying to find out is if anyone's had similar experiences with dogs, cats, horses, or other animals over several generations where an unusual behavior pattern has been inherited in this kind of way. If you know of any examples, do please let me know. You can email me at sheldrake at sheldrake.org, um, and I'd be very interested to hear from you about this. Of course, if the behavior patterns are simply a response to the environment, um, it's not so interesting. Um, but when they're passed down and occur in different environments, like this one happened with different generations of dogs that were brought up in different families, um, with different butcher shops, um, then it becomes very interesting. I'm not expecting stories about butcher shops, but um, if you do have anything um, that seems relevant to this inquiry, do please let me know.